Simple Gift Series is proudly made possible by Visit Colorado Springs, Colorado, Olympic City, USA, and the Colorado Springs Airport, Colorado's small airport. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to calm down where we ought to be. La la la. with our friend Marty. Take it away, Marty! If you are ready to make music with Marty, raise, raise, raise up your hand. We can make some music with Marty the Music Man. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you again. Get ready for Rhythm Day. You know, we've talked about quarter notes and eighth notes. I think today is the perfect day to learn about some more kinds of notes. <laughs> You're so smart. I know you'll catch on fast. Hey, Miss Linda. Let's sing the bell song to get us going. Everyone, get out your rhythm makers. I love the bell song. Are you ready, Marty? Here we go. I hear a little bell ringing. Linda, let's start by looking at one measure of music. When you look at a piece of music, it's made up of a whole bunch of measures, or bars. They are separated by lines, so you always know when a new measure starts. Each measure holds a group of notes, but there is only room for so many of them. We know how many notes and beats can be held in one measure, by this. It's called a time signature. Just like how I can sign my name on a letter so you know that I wrote it, 
The time signature lets you know how many of what kind of note will fit in a measure. This time signature is called 4-4. Four, four. We say the top number first and then the bottom number. The top number tells us how many beats fit in one measure and the bottom number tells us what kind of note gets one beat. We also call this common time because we use it a lot. So common time and 4-4 four, four time mean the same thing. It means that we can fit four quarter notes in one measure, like this. <laughs> Isn't that neat? One, two, three, four. Let's say this rhythm together. Repeat after me. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 Very good. Now we're ready to learn some more kinds of notes. This one is called a whole note. And do you want to know why it's called that? <laughs> it's simple. A whole note takes up a whole measure of 4-4 four, four time, like this. That means it's the same length as four quarter notes. When we play our rhythm games, a quarter note is ta. So when we see a whole note, we say ta, two, three, four. Repeat after me. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, two, three, four. Beautiful. Let's learn another. This is a half note. It has an open head like a whole note, but it has a stem on it like a quarter note. It's called a half note because it is half as long as a whole note. That means there's room for two of them in a measure of 4-4 four, four time. We call it ta tu. Repeat after me. Ta tu, ta tu. Ta tu, ta tu. Ta tu, ta tu. Ta tu, ta tu. Wonderful. Now let's play some copycat. Using whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. And now that we know all about measures, let's put our rhythms over two bars of common time. Remember that common time is another name for 4-4 four, four time. Here's an example. A whole note is four beats, so that fills one measure. And one, two, three, four quarter notes fills one measure. Repeat after me. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Ta tu, ta ta ta, ti ti ta ta. Ta tu, ta ta ta, ti ti ta ta. Ta tu, ta ta ta, ti ti ta ta. Ta tu, ta ta ta, ti ti ta ta. Ti ti ta ta tu. Ta, two, three, four. Ti, ti, ta, ta, two. Ta, two, three, four. Ti, ti, ta, ta, two. Ta, two, three, four. Ti, ti, ta, ta, two. Ta, two, three, four. Woohoo! You all did so well. And the more we practice, the better we get at reading music. 
making music with you really brightens my day. So long until next time. Thanks, Marty. That was uncommonly fun. <laughs> anyway, I've been curious about some things, and there's no one better to help us learn than our good friend, Miss Lynette. So let's just hop in the car and go visit her. What's around the corner? What's around the bend? I can see adventure for you and I, my friend. There's so much to learn and see, so come along with me. Together we can learn all that we can be. Welcome down to the barn, everyone. I'm so excited to share my animal friends with you. When you look around, what animals do you see? First, I want you to meet all my chickens. 10 to be exact. They are different colors and breeds. And guess what? They are all girls, so they are all called hens, and they all lay eggs. This big guy is a boy, and he is my rooster. Rusi keeps all the hens safe from predators. Let's keep looking around. What other animals do you see? Yes, you're right, that's a pig. It's my friend Chester Pig and he is 10 years old this year. Chester is full of straw because he loves to burrow down in a great big heap of straw to stay warm. And he loves to give me kisses. Look at the eggs I have in my hands. They are huge. They came from my friend, Little Goose. Little Goose is an African Grey Goose, and she's so sweet. One of her very favorite things to do is hang out with Chester Pig. I have so many more animals for you to meet and learn about. I can't wait until we're together again. Some moo, some quack, some squawk. No matter what the sound, they're talking to you. Let's stop and listen and talk to a few. <laughs> How does a chicken sound? Chicken goes bark, 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 bark. Can you make a chicken sound? Can you make a chicken sound? Can you sound like a goose? I love the animals. They are our friends. It's fun to visit. We'll see them all again. to play, I love to bring my ukulele. Do you have a ukulele? I like the ukulele because it's really fun to play and it's easy to carry around. My ukulele is really out of tune.
that's not right either. Linda, how are you today? I'm great, Betty. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully, too. Thank you. What book will we read today, Betty? I thought we'd read The Caterpillar Who Came to Lunch. That's one of my favorite stories. Let's read together with Betty and make sure you look for that caterpillar along the way. Have fun! The Caterpillar came to lunch. Written by Linda Weiss. Illustrated by Christina Wells. My friend the caterpillar asked for something good to eat. He wiggled up the table and took a comfy seat. Do you have some leafy greens and perhaps some nice plump beans? I'm not too picky, not by any means. I prepared my friend a bowl fit for fancy kings, some fresh cut greens, and lots of yummy things. He went crunch, 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 and munch, 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 before too long, he had finished all his lunch. I'd like another, my friend said to me. I'm sure I have more, just let me see. Another salad I did make, a hot green tea and a healthy shake. He topped it off with a zucchini cake. I'm quite full now and need a place to rest. Whatever you need, you're my special guest. No trouble at all, as he climbed up the wall. He climbed so high, I was afraid that he'd fall. Something amazing happened that lovely afternoon. He spun himself a magical cocoon. Wait just a bit, no need to babysit. I'll be back to see you, lickety split. I waited and watched for any sign of waking when early one morning the cocoon began breaking. I heard happy humming and saw something coming. Big golden wings that were most becoming. You've changed into a beautiful butterfly. Yes, he said with a twinkle in his eye. Out the window he did fly, up into the clear blue sky. Please don't think that this is goodbye. I watched as he flew from flower to flower. 
He seemed to get stronger by the hour. I need to drink and eat something colorful and sweet. Each flower is a delightful treat. Butterfly, butterfly, up in the sky. I wish I had wings so we could both fly. No doubt it was a special day. I wish, I wish that I could stay. So long for now. And he flew away. I love the story of the caterpillar who came to lunch. That was fun. Are you ready? Let's sing the caterpillar song now. Mr. Caterpillar likes to munch, munch, munch. On the leafy greens he will crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunching, munching all day long until he's fast asleep. In the morning he'll wake up and have some more to eat. And then what happens to the caterpillar? He goes into his cocoon and when he comes out of his cocoon he is a beautiful Beautiful butterfly. Let's sing the butterfly song now. Ready? Here we go. Butterfly, butterfly up in the sky. Please come and talk to me. Teach me to fly. If only I had your bright yellow wings, I'd fly away with you and teach you There's the doorbell. I wonder what gift we get today. Let's see what gift we got today. Are you ready? It's a mirror. Look, do you have a mirror? When you look in the mirror, who do you see? I see myself. When you look, you see yourself. You see, you're the gift. You're a gift to me, to your family and friends, now and always. So just remember, take time to reflect on all of the simple gifts we get each and every day. We want to pause and be grateful for every one. We had so much fun together today, didn't we? We went to the farm to meet some animals. We tuned our ukulele. We read about our friend, Mr. Caterpillar all the things he likes to eat, and how he turns into a beautiful butterfly. It was fun, and we'll see you again very soon. So we never say goodbye, we always just say, so long for now, my friends. This time now must end. It's been so much fun, but we're not done because I'll see For more information about this series, visit us at www.simplegiftseries.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Simple Gift Series. <laughs>